Jolice DeAngelis here, although I look like Bob today, as you can see, but I've brought flowers for everybody, isn't that great? <laughs> Actually, I am behind the camera operating the whole system, so just so you know, Bob is welcoming all of you. Today what I'm going to show you how to make is CD calendars. Look at these beauties. They're all in a CD case, and I'm going to proceed to show you how to do it. First of all, you know, you print them off. You cut them apart. You know, here I've cut off the top and the bottom, and then you can just, you know, cut off the other ones, and then you'll have each month. Okay, now let's show you how to do the CD. You can take any old CD case. It ha it does have to be one of the standard ones. It cannot be one of the thick ones. Now this happens to be my Barbara Streisand, which of course is sacred. But I just want to show you, you can take any professional CD. All you have to do is take out whatever's in the front cover, and then and take out your CD. Hopefully you have another place or case or something to put your CD. And then what and then I'll show you what we'll do with another CD because as I said, this one is sacred. Okay, here is a regular CD case. Now let me show you exactly how the best way that I personally have found to take these apart. Because you indeed you do have to take them apart in order to get them to stand like that. Let's see, I just can't see that one, like this. Okay, so let's see if I can show you how to do that. Let me move these back just a little bit so I have some working surface here. So here's your CD case. The first thing you have to do, of course, is remove the tray that the CD holds in. Now, sometimes it's a difficult thing because CD cases are made a little bit differently and manufacturers can do them differently, but this is the easiest way that I've found. Okay, when you look at the side, you see these little two tiny holes here, and then there's a, usually a little thumbprint thing or a little print indentation right here. Let's see, there you go, now you can see it. Okay, so what I do is I kind of try and take hold of it there and kind of hold, let's see if I can show you here on the camera, hold this apart, get my finger in there and pull it up. Okay, now I have one corner up. Now usually when you do that, this corner will pop up very easily. The next part is maybe a little bit trickier. Usually what I have to do is kind of wiggle it. Whoopsie, that one came out. It will make a loud pop when you do it. Um, that's expected. And there you go. Your CD case is done for that part. Now, if you want to just give the camera to someone, you can take it like this. Take my camera, or I mean, I'm sorry, my calendar. Put it in. And there you go. Makes a nice little gift pack. Plus, there will be there's an instruction sheet in each one that will tell people how to set up their CD case. Okay, so here you have this. What first thing you need to do is you need to look for these little, little holes. Can you see that right there? And there, it's kind of a little hinge joint. What we're going to do, actually I like working with this one because I'm right-handed, is I'm going to pull this out a little bit and then pull that out. Did you see how that works? See, because there's just this, there's a hole on this side and a little tiny peg-like thing on that side so when they go together you have to be really careful that you don't break these because they're touchy see, my other side came apart okay okay now to make it what you need you need to take this apart like this take this press apart and then the other side will just come off and then what you need to do is flip this other one around okay so the original CD case is like this just flip this side around and then rejoin your hinges. So let's put this side in. There. And then we put this side together here. It's usually pretty fairly easy to just kind of pop that in place. But of course, when I'm on camera, there we go. It's got to not do it. And there you go. There's your setup for your CD camera. Now there's a couple of or calendar, excuse me, I keep saying camera. Okay, so the way the there's a couple of ways you can do this. Now here is one where you have the, the month displayed, and then all you can do, you can just take the next one, whoops, I guess February usually comes after January, and so you just take that, and then you can lay your used calendar down there in the back, like that. Or if you prefer, you can keep all your months back here, and then just display the current month that's up front, and then as you get done, you can take this one off, and pull the next one up, like that. See how easy that is? So whichever way you want to do it. Or, if you prefer, you can just use a handy little 
dandy doodle. Just use an easel. Just use an easel. See, that works great. And these, these calendars are great for, obviously, anyone who has any kind of a desk. But also like professionals, for instance, my massage therapist wanted one because people are writing her checks and they always want to know what day it is. And she says this is just the perfect size. It's kind of inobtrusive. She can just set it there and people can use it. So have fun with these. And now I'm going to tell you just a little bit about each separate camera or cam each separate calendar. I'll never get that right. I just wanted to mention something special with these um, photo or not, this photo or not calendar set. Okay, so here's what I mean by that. Okay, so here we have January. Very nice photo. Here's your calendar down here and your decoration, which looks fine as it is. But I have also included on each page of these a little template that you can use if you prefer to put a photo right there. So you can put a photo of someone to help with this calendar or you can leave it like that. It's very nice. Um, and each each month has a little bit different shape. See that one is just kind of a leaf. You can put that there. Or if you wanted to, you can just leave the calendar as it is. Another example is July here. Very soft and pretty. But if you want to put a little pink granddaughter right smack dab in the middle of it, there you go. So just wanted to let you know on that one, absolutely fantastic calendar. Now on to more of the others. So here's two great examples that you could share, like for instance this floral one. Wouldn't that be great for a doctor's office or or perhaps a florist even? You know, anybody who would have specific dates that would like that or, or your friends who wouldn't love vintage florals. This one over here is absolutely a fan would be a great one for, say for instance, a, an, an architectural firm. Or because, you, as you can see, you have this beautiful network here of lines and, and geometric forms. Maybe your geometry teacher, any mathematics or scientific person. The entire set is based on different lines, as you can see here. To come up, if you come up with more really cool ideas for where to send these or where they should go, um, please leave a note in the forum in the main message room, and we'll all benefit from your ideas. So there you are. Now you know how to make a CD case calendar. And feel free to just go to www.craftsyouprint.com slash Jolis, J-O-L-I-S, dash DeAngelis, D-E-A-N-G-E-L-I-S, slash, and you will find these. You can just type in, there's a little search right on my home page, and you can type in calendar, and you'll be sure to come up with all of these. So I hope everything goes great for you, and have a great day, great crafting month. And Bob and I, of course, both wish you all the best. Take care.